Hello and welcome to WebDemand.com's YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about installing Python in Windows operating system. Now last video we have seen about the requirements of Python codes and the installation of Python in your operating system is the first thing that you have to do. So in installing Python in your operating system the first thing that you have to do is download it from python.org website. So the latest version that is available is Python 3.4.2. So the time of making this video is 3.4.2. When you're looking at this video, you might have different version as latest version for Python. So don't worry about it. Just download the latest version. So the link for downloading Python for Windows is bit.ly slash Python Win 34. I have made a short link using the bit.ly. So you can use that link. It's once again bit.ly slash Python Win 34. So I'm going to go to that website to show you where and how you can download the Python distribution for your operating system. So when you click that link, you'll be routed to this particular link. So it's going to be the download section of Python and the latest version is 3.4.2. So it might be different when you're looking at this video. So don't worry about it. Just download the latest version of Python that is available. So the actual download section for the various distributions of Python 3.4.2 is at the end of the page or the bottom of the page. So here is where you can find the files for the installation of Python in your operating system. So all other things are nothing but the change logs and various features that comes with the distribution and also some of the resources that you can use in order to get started with the Python. So you can download the Windows operating system distributions at the bottom where you can see the Windows x86 MSI installer and Windows x86 64. MSI installer. So if you are having 64-bit operating system, download this one. And if you're not sure which operating system that you're using, then try to download Windows x86 MSI installer. So if you're a Mac user, there's two versions available for download as well. One is Mac OS X 32-bit i386 PPC installer. So the next one is Mac OS X 64-bit 32-bit installer. So I have a Windows operating system which is a 64-bit operating system so I downloaded Windows x86 64-bit MSI installer. I have already downloaded the files so it's in my programs folder you can see that. So it's Python 3.4.2 amd64.msi. So if you are a 64-bit operating system user then you might have already got this file downloaded when you have completed the download. So if you are a 32-bit operating system user, there are chances that you might be having a different name. So don't worry about it. Just double-click to launch the installer. So mine has actually launched faster. So it might take some time for you to launch because I have already launched it in order to check if it is working or not. So I'm going to press the next. So these two options are useful only if you want to restrict the installation only for your user. For example, if you want to install Python only for you and not any other user who is using your operating system, then select the second option. And if you want the Python to be installed for all users in your operating system, select the first option. Press next and it will be showing where the Python 34 will be. That is the Python 3.4 will be installed in your Windows operating system. So mine is installing at C drive which is my Windows driver and Python 34 is the folder in which the Python 3.4 will be installed. So if you are having Windows install in D drive then it would be D colon slash Python 34 slash. That is a folder that you have to look for. So I'm going to press next and it's going to show you a lot of options. Don't touch it. It's not something that you have to uh, mess around with. Just uh, I'd leave it alone if I'm a beginner user. So just press next and you have to wait for it to finish installation and it would be asked for some kind of uh, UAC that is the user access control permission press S for it when it asks for you to do so. So I'm going to pause this video till the point where it completes the installation process. So I'll come back again. So the Python 3.4.2 has completed installation. So we are at the completion window of the installation. They're also thanking Mark Hammond for making Python for Windows possible. So I'm just going to finish the installation using the finish button. So first thing that you have to do after installing Python 3.4.2 or any Python version is check for it whether it is installed successfully or not. So it's Python 34 folder is available so it's install the files and the next thing that you have to do is that run python.exe that's going to open up the terminal or the console of Python. So I'm going to check if Python is installed properly by using a simple checking command that's nothing but 
adding two numbers 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 that is the right value that has been given in here so Python is working fine for me so it's 3.4.2 installed on my operating system which is a 64-bit operating system you can see that as well in here and I'm just going to close it and uh, for Linux users it's most probably already installed in your operating system so Python comes pre-installed in your operating system you don't have to worry about it but if you're not sure whether Python is installed in your operating system then check it with the help of Python 3 space dash v in order to check the version that is installed so your operating system that is the Linux operating system might have two Pythons installed in it both Python 2.7 and Python 3 so in order to access Python 2 version you have to use Python and for accessing Python 3 or 3.4 you have to use Python 3 as the command and terminal so I believe Python 3 space dash v is the command to check for the version it's been a long time I've used terminals in Linux so sorry if it's not working just use the Google search engine in order to find how to check the versions of the Python installed in your operating system or how to check Python 3 is available in your operating system or not so that actually ends the video so this actually covered the installation of Python in Windows it's kind of the same process for Mac OS X as well and for Linux users it's probably already installed in your operating system and if it's not then you'll be having a wealth of resources that is showing you how to actually install Python in your operating system so don't worry about it so thank you for watching this video and if you find this video useful please like the video hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and family and if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel it supports us greatly and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks or if you have something to say or if you have an appreciation please use the comment section in order to express that and also if you have any kind of issues in installing the Python or if you're getting any errors please let me know in the comment section of this video so that I can find a solution for you to help you out and you can also use the social links that is the Facebook page Google Plus page and Twitter feed in order to contact us through the web dev mentors or you can also contact me personally through the social links that I've shared in the description section of this video so thank you for watching this video have a great day